we must keep on striving even though success doesn't seem on the horizon we are preparing our foundation one man was trying his best in life but encountering failure again and again and one day he complained to god and said oh god success is not in my destiny i am just destined to fail i may as well accept it and god said there's a difference between perfection and excellence perfection means i need to be at that state where i don't make any mistakes desire for perfection makes a person neurotic because then the moment they see defects in themselves or in others then they become so dejected they even go into depression but instead of that when we pursue excellence we know that perfection will always be a journey nobody will ever be perfect all we can do is the best that is in our ability and the best that we can do may still contain so many mistakes in them but that is we could not have done better than our best so the attitude or mindset of excellence is i am running my own race and i am putting everything into the opportunity i have got as thomas watson the legendary ceo of ibm used to tell his employees as of this moment quit doing less than excellent work and this is the mindset there was one famous architect frank lloyd right so when he would be asked because he had designed many of the landmark monuments around the world and he would be asked amongst these which is your best one he would say the next one this was his mind set i must keep growing i must keep improving i also like the statement of pablo casals who was the best cellist in the last 150 years and at the age of 96 he was still practicing and somebody asked him mr casals why do you still practice he said because i think i am getting better so those who have the mind set of excellence they don't make excuses excuses is so easy to develop the victim mentality to point fingers to blame others for our negativity if we get into this rut then even god cannot save us no guru can save us for us to move ahead we need to take responsibility for ourselves where i am today i alone am responsible and if this has to change the onus is upon me so there is a saying in english people say there must be a pony somewhere there's a background behind this story there must be a pony somewhere it is said that two brothers had contrasting attitudes one was a compulsive negative thinker and in any situation he would find reasons to blame others to find faults with others to blame situations to blame lack of support and the other was a solution oriented person no matter what the situation let me focus on the solution so they were both 
taken to a doctor. The doctor, as an experiment, took the first brother in a stable full of ponies. He knew that these brothers loved ponies. And seeing all those ponies there, this uh, first brother became dejected. The doctor said, what's the matter? Are you not excited? Don't you want to ride on any of them? He said, you know, I do, but in case they don't ride properly, then I will be disappointed and they will be irritated. And I'm just so dejected, worrying about what the future holds. The doctor then took the second son to a room full of horse excreta. So that poop was filling the floor for many feet. And this boy, when he reached, he, with his two bare hands, he started digging. And the doctor said, what are you doing? He said, with so much of horse poop around, I am sure there must be a pony somewhere. I am trying to find the pony. Now look, one boy in a positive situation found reasons for negativity. One boy in a negative situation found reasons for positivity. The pursuit of excellence does not require anything from the outside. It does not require preconditions. It's an inner mindset that we cultivate. And it must also be accompanied by the understanding of the law of incremental growth. What does that mean? It means that success is never a lottery that is suddenly thrown into our lap. The Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, you know, he put it so well when he said that even the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If you need to undertake a long journey, you can only do it one step at a time. And even the biggest of temples only begins with the laying of single brick. And one brick at a time, the walls come up. Likewise, if we are here today and we decide that I have infinite potential as a little child of God and this is where I wish to be, then we must be prepared to be patient because success will not be a unit step function. Yesterday I was a sinner, today I become a saint. It will require constant, repeated steps. So we people overestimate how much we can change in a day. But we underestimate how little, little changes over an extended period of time add up to change us so dramatically. Like you have probably heard from me that if you can change 1% every day, in a year you will have changed over 350 percent and when that is compounded year after year after year it will mean that this life you have made a tremendous success so let's again take inspiration from the bamboo one man was trying his best in life but encountering failure again and again. And one day he complained to God and said, Oh God, success is not in my destiny. I am just destined to fail. I may as well accept it. And God said, don't give up. But God, tell me why should I not give up? God said, I have faith in you. He said, God, but just look at my track record. I have failed a hundred times in the last five years. Each time I think I will not, 
harbor negative thoughts, but I fail. Each time I think I will not become angry on my relatives, but I do. Each time I think I will grow stronger in willpower and not succumb to temptation, but I do. So you tell me, why should I not give up? God gave him the example of the fern. He said, you know what? One gardener planted fern and he also planted bamboo seeds. The fern, like wild grass, it pops out in a few days and in a couple of weeks it had reached full growth and it had started multiplying and there was soon a fern garden. But the bamboo seeds that had been planted, nothing came out of them. So the gardener looked, a year had gone by, still nothing. A second year went by, still nothing. A third, fourth. After four years, the gardener was about to give up, but then he said, let's wait a little. And the fifth year, all of a sudden, the bamboo sprout was visible. But the beauty was it started growing so rapidly that in the space of six months, it had shot up 80 feet. That was when the gardener realized that for something that is 80 feet high, imagine the strength of its roots that are required because it becomes a huge cantilever and it needs to be countered with extremely deep and strong roots. So he now understood that the bamboo plant for four and a half years had been creating a foundation which would enable the spurt of growth. So likewise, we must keep on striving even though success doesn't seem on the horizon, we are preparing our foundation. That is why hope is very important in Bhakti. Nirutsahasya, Dinasya, Shoka Parya Kulatmana. Those people who lose hope, who become dejected, I will not do it. My Guru will not grace me. God will not accept me. Then they start going in the reverse direction. They become worse than animals, this Sanskrit verse says. That is why Nirutsahasya, Dinasya, Shoka Parya Kulatmana. Take a look at the grain that the farmer plants. It takes time to sprout. So let me end today's message with the story of the dog and the elephant. The female dog and the female elephant both got pregnant at the same time. And in just three months, dog had delivered and then six months later it got pregnant again and it had delivered and then again it got pregnant and again it delivered and this elephant was not having any baby two and a half years went by so this mother dog asked the elephant are you sure you're carrying a baby the elephant said yes I am but there's a difference. Your baby roams around the streets. Nobody values it. The baby I'm going to be delivering will be such that when it walks the earth, people will stop, turn and gaze in wonder. It will have such weight that when it presses its feet, the earth will tremble. It will have such majesty that it will be the major role player in Shobha Yatras. So, creation of such a thing does require time. Likewise, our goal should always be the highest. Remember the law of infinite potential. We all are not children of chicken that are destined to do cluck cluck here and there. 
Ya, like the king of the birds, the eagle destined to fly high at altitude of 20,000 feet. So as the children of God, we have got infinite potential.